<laughs> all right, lovely stuff. Thanks for joining me again, guys. You're back with Old Monster, and today I've got a juice review for you. So I've got the top 10 juices from the Vaporium.nz juice line. Now, not only that, but these guys have been kicking out some mean swag recently. Check that t-shirt out. And these are top quality t-shirts as well. So comfy, so comfy. Anyway, not only am I reviewing these juices, but I'm also giving a sample pack away. So every juice that you see in this review, you can win. And I'll tell you how at the end of this video. So let's take a look at them, shall we? So first off the lot, we've got Roigbiv. Roigbiv? I'm going to go with Roigbiv. It's not a word, I don't think, anyway. I haven't Googled it, but Roigbiv. All right. So the flavor description for Roigbiv is taste... The, the, well, they're basically saying it tastes like Skittles. All right. So. No. Oh, God, that is sweet. That is very sweet. Very sweet. I wouldn't say, personally, it tastes like Skittles. What I would say, and what it reminds me of the most, but obviously all palettes are different, but it reminds me more of the candy bracelets you used to get. You know, you get candy necklaces, bracelets, watches as a kid. Now, that is exactly what I'm getting from this. As I say, palettes are different. But, yeah, like, as a kid, nibbling through those um, and getting all the different flavoured sort of candy beads in your mouth at the same time and that's what that reminds me of so if you used to love those as a kid then this is perfect for you personally it's a bit too sweet for me the kind of aftertone leaves it tasting like i've just actually taken a spoonful of white sugar um but the exhale is is lovely and yet reminds me of those childhood candy bracelets so uh, after that next one we've got fizzing fizzing nice and easy to say thank you all right so the flavour description for fizzing is fizzy candy flavours with a hint of pomegranate. Right. Oh, that's lovely. That is lovely. One of my personal favourites, this one actually. Now, what this reminds me of is, you know the little party packs of Harry Bows that you can get? You can get those fizzy ones. So the, only the little packs about the size of the palm of your hand. Or you've got like your fizzy cherries and your fizzy cola bottles and your, your fizzy, I don't know, those pacifiers and other bits and pieces. If you empty one of those into the palm of your hand and ram them all into your mouth, that's exactly what this one tastes like. And I love it. I love it. It's not too sweet, though. It's not as sweet as the first one. I'm not going to try and pronounce it again. Where this one leaves lovely sort of fizzy, fruity tones on the back of your tongue. It's fantastic. So, yeah, if you're a big fan of the old... Harry Bo fizzy party packs, then yeah, this one's definitely for you. Easily an all-day vape. It's not too sharp, not too sweet. Perfect. All right, next one. We've got stone fruit. Stone fruit. So this is basically a nectarine, apricot, and peach flavored juice. Oh, you definitely get that nectarine straight away. Oh, lovely. Really nice and sweet, nice and sweet, not too sweet. Nice and sweet, nice and fruity. And it leaves you with that peach on the back of your tongue as an afternote, but during that exhale, you, you get the nectarine straight away, but during that exhale, you, you taste the, the mixture of the apricot in there, but it leaves you with the peach. And peach and apricot on the back of your tongue. It's lovely. Oh, I've got another one. Yeah. They've nailed that flavour description, to be honest, and it just lovely and fruity. So if you like your fruit punches and your fruit salad um, vapes, then it's lovely. So it's got, as far as I can taste, it's got no sort of milky or cream in there, which is actually quite nice. I like to just taste the fruit in these. So yeah, if you're a big fan of fruit flavours, definitely this is the one for you. Lovely stuff. All right, next one. We've got blueberry shortcake. Flavour description for this, pretty simple. Blueberry with a cake base. All right. Oh, now, the cake flavour in this is on point. Absolutely on point. So, it is pretty exactly what it says in the tin. Really subtle 
blueberry, so it doesn't overtake that lovely cake flavor. But, oh, definitely a lovely cakey vape. Definitely get the blueberry more on the intake than you do on the exhale. All you get is that lovely spongy cake taste as you exhale. Now I've been searching for a really nice cake flavoured juice for a while, as some of you may know, and this is pretty much exactly what I've been looking for. It's lovely. It's got no like artificial blueberry taste to it or anything. They've just really nailed that, that cake taste and the smell off the juice itself, as soon as you open that bottle, it's just, oh, it's unreal. It's like freshly baked shortbread. It's lovely. I'm going again. Fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, if you like your cakes, then definitely, definitely one for you. The blueberry is not too predominant in there. In fact, they probably could do with a little bit more just so you taste more of it because it does disappear very quickly. But the cake flavor in there is absolutely on point. Fantastic, nice one. All right, next one. We have banana split. All right, so the flavor description of this one is classic banana dessert flavor. Simple. Oh. Now, this is another vendor that's absolutely nailed banana flavoring, right? As I've said before, I hate banana flavorings anyway. I like bananas, and but banana flavorings are generally just so artificial and so overpowering. But again, another one that's absolutely nailed it. This banana split, to me, Tastes exactly like fresh caramelized bananas that you normally get with like French toast or with pancakes or waffles or whatever. That lightly caramelized sort of fried in butter type. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. Yeah, that's exactly what it tastes like. They do say it's got a creamy base. I'm not tasting too much of the cream, but again, that's probably due to the banana, as banana is quite an overpowering flavour. But definitely caramelised butter and sugar caramelised bananas is exactly what this tastes like to me. And that's one of my favourite parts of having French toast on a weekend is those bananas. So again, the banana's not overpowering in this. It's not artificial. It doesn't taste like lollies. It's just real a real banana taste fantastic lovely stuff all right next one we have vanilla beanie vanilla beanie so the flavor description for this one is all the vanilla flavors french ice cream and more all right now that is one of the creamiest vanilla flavors i've, I've tasted so far it excuse me it's just reminds me of, yeah, really expensive vanilla ice cream. The kind of vanilla ice cream that you buy and you've got um, vanilla seeds in it. You know, a really real vanilla flavour. All those, those really expensive um, vanilla ice cream milkshakes that you get from fancy cafes, like over in Mission Bay and stuff like that. It's, oh, absolutely fun. So smooth and creamy. So smooth and creamy. Yeah, that's pretty much the, exactly it. There's nothing, again, nothing artificial about it. There's nothing um, lolly-like about it whatsoever. It's just lovely, deep, creamy vanilla, as pure vanilla as you can imagine is this. So if you like your nice expensive ice creams or your nice fancy vanilla milkshakes, then... This is an all-day vape for you. Again, this is one of my other favourites of this line so far. Just such a smooth, creamy... Oh, it's lovely. It's absolutely lovely. Fantastic. All right, next one. Next one up, we've got Shalene's. I think it's Shalene's milk. Shalene's. Shalene's milk. Well, whoever Shalene is, she's got some tasty milk, mate, I tell you. So... The description for this is a strawberry cream take on mother's milk without the vanilla custard. All right. Oh, 
before. Now, just like the vanilla beanie, it's so smooth, so creamy. Again, another one that tastes like a high-end milkshake. So, that strawberry is just creamy and subtle. It's not overpowering. It's not the first thing or the last thing you taste. It's just sat there on that, on that milkshake base. Oh, I'm going again. Yeah. Now, personally, I wouldn't have even compared this like they have done to Mother's Milk or even called it anything like Mother's Milk. It's on a different level, as far as I'm concerned. Like you, the. The original Mother's Milk and sort of other clones that have, have come from that and variations have sort of had either too heavy a, a cheesecake base or they've had a graham cracker base or something along those lines where this is just pure strawberry milkshake. Go on again. So soft, so creamy and just so smooth. Like I said, the strawberry in this is on point, just the right amount for you to taste its strawberry milkshake on, on the exhale, but you've just got that creamy milkshake, sort of ice cream based milkshake on the, on the exhale as well. It's, oh, it just sits on the back of your tongue. Again, easily another all day vape. Creamy, luscious. I can't stop saying creamy because that's just the first thing that hits you on your first drawer of this. It is literally like you've just swallowed a nice mouthful of high-end strawberry milkshake. On point. Well done. Good effort. Next one. Next up, we have Berry Smooth. All right, so the flavor description for this is just simply berries with whipped cream. Now, the berries are very predominant in this. It just basically, to me, it tastes like it's a dessert bowl full of summer berries just swimming in full fat cream. That's exactly what this reminds me of. And to be honest, you can feel, you can feel, you can taste the berries just dancing down the side of your tongue with this one. It's, you don't, it doesn't stay like on the back of your tongue or you just, it just sits on the side of your tongue. Just quite nicely. It's it's a strange sensation to be honest. Yeah. So again, like I said, just a bowl full of berries soaked in cream. It's exactly what you're getting with this. It's a lovely vape. Would have been a good one for summer. Summer's on its way out now, unfortunately. But yeah, it just yeah, it just reminds me of that lovely summer dessert. Simple easy creamy smooth and just oh the sweetness of those berries just yeah just dance on your tongue it's very well made this it's not a sensation that i've had from any other berry juices before they normally sit quite predominantly at the back of your throat and that's all you're tasting but these you just get it it's all over it's a taste sensation it's lovely it's quite nice all right next one all right next one we've got hazemel 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 Hazelmel, probably. All right, so the flavor description for this is hazelnut caramel love. So basically, just caramelized hazelnuts, I should imagine. Now, I'd go a little bit further on the description of that because I'm getting a lot of hazelnuts. So you're getting the sweetness, the natural sweetness as you would from a hazelnut. I'm not getting too much caramel, but what I am getting is more of a, a hazelnut cream pie, personally. Hang on. Yeah, more of a, a hazelnut cream pie with a, with a hazelnut liqueur drizzle. That's, that's what I'm getting from this. Again, everybody's palate's a bit different, but I'm getting a very sort of creamy, milky um, undertone from it. So that's what draws me more towards a hazelnut cream pie than just caramelized hazelnuts. But the hazelnut flavor on this is definitely on point. I am I'm missing a lot of the caramel that I, I thought would be quite a big punch in the face. But I'm getting more of a liqueur 
in there as well. So you've got actual, actual hazelnuts, uh, like a liqueur taste on the inhale, but you're left with like a cream pie taste on the back of your tongue. It's nice. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything negative about it. It's a nice vape. The description leaves you feeling like it's just an ordinary caramel hazelnut, right? But it's not. It's got a lot more going for it than the the description on the website leads you to believe. Now, I'm definitely I'm going with hazelnut cream pie on that one. That's just my taste. You could taste it and taste something completely different, but I'm going with that. All right, next one. All right, last but in no means least, we've got Hasseltoff. All right, Hasseltoff. So, flavor description for this is Hasseltoff e-liquid is a caramel candy tasting juice. All right. So that's more of like a caramel sauce that you'd you'd put on a sponge cake rather than sort of the caramel sweets like the Werther's Originals that the, the, the picture of the, the juice leads you to believe. Now, just just seeing the, um, the extended description on this one, they do actually say like the classic Werther's Original. I grew up on Werther's Original. This doesn't taste anything like Werther's original, unfortunately. It's it's definitely got enough sweetness there, the sweet caramel, but it's definitely missing the cream or the milky sort of finish that you got with the Werther's original um, lollies that my, me and my granddad used to chomp and chomp on watching bloody Coronation Street when I was a little kid. But all it would take, really, I feel, is um, a bit of cream in there or maybe some dairy flavourings um, just to sort of kick that nice creamy flow off the end of, uh, of this flavour. No, definitely a caramel sauce. Sorry guys, but it's it's not a Werther's Original. I grew up, like I say, grew up on those. I've eaten more Werther's Original than I care to ever remember. And it's just not reminding me of that. But it is still a nice, sweet caramel vape, but it just misses the depth and creaminess that you would get with a Werther's Original. But anyway, that's everything that I've got for this juice line. So, to talk about how you can win all these, so $80 worth of juice here guys, you can be the proud winner and proud owner of all of these so you can try them all out for yourself. All you need to do is A, like the Vaporium Facebook page, so there'll be a link in the description below. You have to like this video, you have to subscribe to this channel, and you have to comment below. Now what comments I want to hear are what you would like me to do differently. I want everybody who watches these videos to enjoy them, right? So if you're getting bored halfway through, if you think I ramble too much, if you think I repeat myself too much, if you think I don't go into enough detail, if you think I'm not reviewing relevant stuff or you'd like to see me doing more stuff, then let me know. That's what I want to see downstairs. If you're quite happy with what you're watching and quite happy with how I do it, then just simply say that down below. But you need to leave a comment. You need to like this video. You need to subscribe to the channel and you need to like Vaporium's Facebook page. All right, so I will be, well, we Monday today. I'll be drawing this on Monday next week, Monday or Tuesday next week. So you've got a whole week to get, um, get your entries in. All right, so again, everything that you've seen on this video, there will be a link for in the description below. Yeah, thanks very much for watching. I always appreciate it and I'll catch you later. Sago!